Hi, this is Elvira from Scrappy Mania, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom flare badges. Flare badges is the rage now. A lot of companies are making these. Um, I cannot find them on my in my local scrapbooking stores, so I decided that I want to create my own custom flare badges using some fabric. So what you're going to need is some fabric, and then some cotton, cotton balls. You need some circles, and then you need a sturdy material. Now, the reason why you need sturdy material, and these are strong, this is chipboard, very strong chipboard. This one was created with um, just regular cardstock, and see how it bends? So, and it's not the greatest. This is the first one that I created, as you can see here. So, that's why you kind of need sturdy chipboard, so it will keep the shape. Um, you're also going to need um, some pair of scissors because once you cut it out, you're going to need to kind of cut a lot of fringes so that way it will retain its form. This is one that I did not cut fringes on it and I just folded it in on the regular cardstock and see how it doesn't look completely round. It doesn't look very nice. Okay, so that's one of the first ones. So. If, and now this is one that I created with strong chipboard and then um, I went ahead and fringed the edges and then you're going to need another piece of cardstock the same size or even a, a, a tad smaller to put in the back for backing. And then this is my last one that I created with a backing and then that one came out a lot nicer as you can see there. So um, what you're going to need some cotton some some stamps and see these are perfect for flare badge um, some of these might be good like you might be a good one so you have to get the stamp that's gonna fit your circle you also what I use for this one I use some watercolor paint and that's what made it that nice little color as you can see there I also use some of my homemade glimmer glam and I will and click on the on the link below right there and it will take you to the video where I show you how to create this glimmer glam so this is just a lot of glue and also some glitter glaze I mean some um I use glue glitter glue and I mixed it with some glazy medium and that's what created that kind of paste that you see there and it doesn't um, it keeps it it doesn't dry up it doesn't allow the 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 glue to dry up in the container so that's why I put some of the glazy medium plus it allows me it makes it a lot thinner so that's why I use glazy medium for my glitter glam so I'm also you also gonna need a hot glue so let me show you how to create one now these circles are created with the one and a quarter inch circle by circle punch, my circle punch, and one and three eighths circle punch. But you can use anything to create these circles. So I'm going to use a bigger one, the one and three eighths, and then the one and a quarter will be the, the backing. So the first thing I usually do is I take my fabric and then I take a pencil and I trace the circle on my fabric like you see here so nice circle and then I cut it out okay once I cut it out then I round the edges and it's it you know it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be a perfect circle and then after I round the edges, then I take my scissors and I make fringes along the circle right up to my, my line. So I make a fringe right up to that line there. This is very simple to do. And I really like how they come, they're coming out. Okay, so once you do that, then you're going to flip it over. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp. And this one is going to be um, 
This one's going to be a camera, and I'm just going to make sure that my camera is going to be right, it's going to fit right in the middle of that circle, and it looks like it's going to do very, it's going to work. Yeah, it's going to work. So now I'm going to take my ink block, and then you're going to need an ink that it that it's um, permanent ink, a pigment ink that it's not waterproof. Not so don't use your um, your Tim Hope ink or anything that w when you put water on it, it's gonna blend or or, or it reacts to water. You want something that's not gonna react to water and it's gonna dry permanent because we're gonna go ahead and use watercolors on top of it. We're going to use glitter glue on top of it. So, and I want this very dark. So I want to make sure that it's very dark. And then I'm going to put it in the middle and just stamp down. I might want to do it again because I want it real dark. And the good thing about uh, acrylic stamp you really can see where you're stamping so that's nice and dark now and I'm gonna do it again let me do it one more time I want to make sure that it's very very dark okay so that's real dark just like I like it so once I do that I think this is the one that I need to use. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and use some of my cotton. I'm going to take a big glob of cotton. And not too much, not too little, just, just like Goldilocks. Just about right. I think that will be good, like that. And you want it kind of like when you smoosh it down, it will be even throughout. So I just like to kind of glue it down, but you don't have to glue it down if you don't want to. But I like gluing it down so that way it doesn't move. Okay. Now I'm going to place my stamp imaged or my and see how, because I made that outline, I'm going to fit this right on the outline, as you can see there. And then I'm going to just put a little glue on the edge and then take the fringes and just bring them in. And you can do the opposite side, so that way it doesn't move on you. Okay. Now let's go ahead and start bringing them in. And I like to um, paint my badge or my uh, my these flare badge after I have put it all together. You can probably, if you want, you can paint it before you glue it all down, but I, I, have, I prefer to do it afterwards. I don't know why. Okay. So now, as you can see, it made a nice little round flare badge. So I'm going to take the smaller of my circles and I'm just going to place it right there. I'm going to put a lot of glue and then I'm going to place it and push it down. And even if it, if it squirts out that's fine once it dries you know we can just pick those off. So ain't that cute? It's just, you can leave it like that. So this one, you know, I can go ahead and put like stitching around the edges or whatnot. That'll look real cute. But 
I can also paint it. Actually, let me do that. Let me take a permanent magic, the um, permanent marker, as you see here, and let's try that. Let's try putting stitching. Stitching around the edges. Actually, that it's coming out pretty nice with those stitching. That looks very nice. Actually, I like it. So we can leave it like this. So I might want to leave this one like that. That looks nice. Or I might paint it. So let me go ahead and paint this one. You can glimmer mist it. If you want to leave, you can make a bunch of these. And since they're a nice canvas neutral color, that when whenever you create your page, then you can go ahead and color it or color mist it or anything. But I'm going to show you how I color it to look like this. So, so now that I have my flare batch done, I'm going to take my watercolor. Take some. Um, and then I'm going to, usually I like to put like a, a, a light color first throughout the whole thing. So this one's going to have a light color first. Like you see there. Now I'm going to go with a little bit of pink and just put it on the edges. And a little more right maybe on here, a little more on here. Okay. And then let's see. Sometimes I take and I just pick up the excess like that. See how it kind of Give it that color, yellow there, yellow there. Let it soak in a little bit and then dry up the excess as you can see there. So, see? Now that I have, the, I, I like what, it, what, what the color that I have. If you don't like it, you can always keep building up the colors until you like the final, the final look. Now I'm going to take some of my Glimmer Glam, not a lot, and if you want to know how to create this Glimmer Glam, go ahead and click on the link below right there, and um, i show you how I create this. Then I put just a little bit around my whole badge. I don't know, I love everything with sparkle and glitter, so I'm kind of... Everything gets a, a little bit of sparkle whenever I create anything. See? You can leave it like that. And then that will dry with a matte fill, fin, finished. But because I'm kind of doing a full ba a, a, a badge. And I like it to have like that glossy kind of look like you see there. I'm going to take some of my glass finish and I'm just going to put it a little bit on the badge. And once I do that, I take my finger and just spread it out. And that's it. That's how you create these cute batch when it dries. It'll dry just like this. This one is nice and dry already. So it'll have that little shine finish. Um, the cotton helps give it a little bit of, a, of that button look. This one, um, excuse me, this one doesn't have a lot of cotton. It's made without a strong chipboard. It's made with just um, regular cardstock and See, it, it bowls and stuff, so it's not the greatest one. So this is one of the first ones that I created. But look at the difference when you do put some cotton, a real nice glob of cotton in the middle. 
See, it looks more like a flare badge. And also, when you do do um, use a sturdy cardstock, it doesn't bend. It kind of conforms to the shape. The fabric conforms to the shape of um, of the um, chipboard. So I hope you like this tutorial. Here's another one I created. And I have inspired you to create your own flare badge using your stamps. Um, you don't have to kind of just be content with the flare badges out there that may have a sailing, saying or, or an image that you really quite don't need or that it really quite don't go with your page. You can go ahead and create your own flare badge um, that will coordinate with your pages and your colors. So thank you for watching. Bye now.